This video is going to show you how you can burn your CDs to a USB to play in another device such as a car stereo system. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hang tight, more details coming up very shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this guide is going to show you how you can copy or burn a CD to a USB thumb drive. This is handy if you want to move your music to your car or you want to plug it into a TV or another device which accepts a USB hard drive or thumb drive. Now, first of all, you need to ensure that you've got iTunes installed on your computer. So if you haven't, let's do that right now. So what we need to do is we need to click on the start button and then just type on the keyboard the word store. And hopefully after a few seconds under best match, you should see Microsoft Store app. Move your mouse over that, left click once, then the Microsoft Store should load. Now this bit might take a little while on some computers. Please be patient with it. Once it's loaded, you should see at the top of the screen, you've got search apps, games, movies, and more. Click in that box just there, and then just type iTunes. Okay, once you've typed iTunes, you should see somewhere in that list that's appeared this iTunes app with a musical note to the left of it. Move your mouse over that, left click once. Then you should get this screen come up. It should say iTunes and underneath it, it should say Apple Inc. If this matches, then move your mouse below to the word get, left click once. Now, again, this bit might take a bit of time because it's going to download from the Internet and it's quite a large file is iTunes. So just be patient with it. Once it's downloaded, it will automatically install. I'm going to pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's downloaded and installed. OK, so iTunes is now downloaded and installed. And you can tell that because the little download icon there has gone to the word open just in blue and white there. So move your mouse over that left click once and then you need to agree to the software license agreement. So just scroll down, have a read through that, make sure that you agree with everything and then click on agree if you do, or if you don't and you don't wanna use this, then click on decline. So I'm, I'm gonna click on agree because I need to use it. And then hopefully after a few seconds, iTunes should load. Now, if you've already got it installed, you need to follow the video from here. So if this screen comes up, click on agree just down there. And then the next thing we need to do is we need to change the format that we're going to import our CD in because not all stereo systems or car systems will be able to read the Apple's format, the M4A format. So we're going to change that to MP3. So to do that, we just click on edit just up there and then click on preferences just down there. And then we go down to import settings there. If you don't see that, click on general just up in the top left hand corner. And there you go. We've got here when you insert CD, we need to make sure that that is set to ask to import and make sure there's a tick next to automatically retrieve CD track names from Internet. Then we click on import settings, that little button just there. And we need to import using MP3. So change AAC encoder to MP3 encoder just there. So select that. And the setting, you can leave it at high quality. If you've not got a lot of space, then you can just put it at good quality. Or if you want the absolute best quality, then select higher quality. Now you're gonna it's gonna mean you're gonna not be able to fit as many tracks onto your USB device the higher the quality you go. So I would recommend try good quality. Click on OK just down there and then click on OK just down there. Now, the next thing we want to do is grab our CD, put it in our CD drive and close the drive up. And hopefully after a few seconds, it should give us a box on the screen asking us, do we want to import? And in some cases it, like this, it might not be able to determine the exact name of the CD. So 
let's just uh, select one of these, the one that matches the CD that we've got in there. Now the top one is the, the closest match. So let's select that so it's highlighted in blue and then select OK. And then it comes up, would you like to import the CD? And it'll give you the CD name. So move your mouse over, yes left click once. Now this bit might take a bit of time. As you can see at the top there, it gives you the status. It's importing each track individually. So I'm gonna pause this video and we'll come back to it once it's imported my CD. So the CD is now imported. I've got ticks down the left hand side beside each track number and the Apple has returned to the bar at the top of the screen. So now we could insert another CD and import that as well. Also, if we've got incorrect track names, we can edit those at the same time. Just click on the uh, little cog just up there and uh, you can go get track names and you could select another album if you wanted, if it wasn't the right one. Or if you wanted to make manual adjustments yourself, you could right click any of the track names, go to song info, left click and make the amendments in here and then select OK when you're happy with your amendments. So let's just eject the CD. I'm gonna click on the eject button just there. And there we can see it's in here. Now in some cases it might have the CD cover. It hasn't got the cover on mine. Doesn't really matter to be quite honest with you. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come out of iTunes and close down the Microsoft Store. And I'm gonna now plug in my USB device. Now, so. Um, before I do that, I'm going to click on the yellow folder just at the bottom of the screen there and click on this PC. And I'm just going to make a note of what's under devices and drivers before I plug in my USB because I need to know what drive letter my USB is. This is very important. So I'm just going to stick the USB in the USB port now. This is the stick. And in a couple of seconds, there you go, something's appeared. And mine's appeared as USB drive D. Make a note of whatever has appeared on yours. Then move your mouse over it, click on the right mouse button, click on properties, that's a left click, and just make sure the file system shows FAT32 or XFAT or FAT. If it shows something different like NTFS, then you're going to need to reformat your drive. And I've got loads of videos on here which show you how you can format your drive to FAT32. So have a look in the description of this video. I'll put a link there. There might be a link in the top right hand corner right now of this video, which will take you to one of my videos that shows you how to reformat the drive. So once you've uh, confirmed that, click on OK. And let's just close this window down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner and let's find iTunes. So click on the start button and just type iTunes. And as you're typing it under best match, it should come up. Move your mouse over that, left click once. And then let's just go into our album and then let's, let's click on edit, click on select all and then move your mouse down to any one of the tracks on the CD. Click on the right mouse button and then click copy. That's a left click. And then what we want to do is we want to open up our little yellow folder at the bottom of the screen there and then click on this PC and then click on the name of our USB drive that appeared earlier. That's a double click and then right click in any blank area. And then if you've got Windows 11, click on this little icon just here. If you've got Windows 10, then click on the word paste and then hopefully the tracks should now be copied to the USB drive. And once this box has disappeared, there you go, there they are. You can go back, you can copy more albums if you want to by repeating those instructions. Or if you've finished, we need to close this down and we need to close down iTunes and then eject the drive. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna check down the bottom here and see if we've got this little icon just here. If we haven't, then click on the arrow like I did, find this icon, left click once and click on the word eject. And then hopefully after a few seconds, it should say that it's safe to eject. If it doesn't like mine, then the best thing to do is to click on the start button there, click on the power icon, and then click on shut down and wait for the computer to shut down. All the lights go off and then unplug your USB drive. Then take it to your device, plug it in and see if it works. So there you go. I hope this guide helped. And if it did, 
why not stick around at my YouTube channel? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, covering all sorts of subjects. Also, if you're looking for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, then why not have a look in the description down below? There's some great deals for you. Buying and subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. It enables me to dedicate more time to doing great videos for you.